the welding up to speed standby. And Hilary, it's yours. Okay. Right, that's good. Um, can I start off by just by getting you to introduce yourselves? Yeah. All the way Hi, I'm Jodie. Hi, I'm Casey. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Lee. Hi, I'm Karina. Brilliant. I'm going to get you to do an eye down at the end, so we'll okay. finish it. Do we, we talk to you it. or to camera? Yeah, talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Talk to yeah. me. Um, so, start off with, um, who can tell me what this new single is all about? Our new single is called Nothing Moves Me. Um, it's a ballad that we absolutely love. It's one of our favourite songs on the album. Um, it's just one of those songs that... Um, it's kind of a sad song, but it's a song about life, you know, like every kind of person goes through an ex some sort of experience that is kind of hard for them in their life, that might make them grow and become a stronger person, and whether it's, you know, losing somebody or end of a relationship or, you know, whatever really you want to associate it to. It's kind um, of universal, isn't it? Yeah. It kind of hits everyone. Like. Yeah, and it's, a, it's a, just a beautiful song, really, and it just gives you a little bit of inner strength, so... We always get really emotional when we perform it, and um, it's. I think it'll always be quite special to us. Yeah, definitely. Um, tell me about the video, because it looks kind of like a behind the scenes on a TV show type. Yeah, yeah. well, actually, we shot our video only like last month, and um, it was kind of more about the song. Obviously, us performing it, but the storyline in it as well. It's kind of like a girl. She finds out her boyfriend is cheating, and she's just like heartbroken. Obviously, deletes his number, and then she finds someone like kind of faith comes in and she finds someone on the shoot and um, she kind of falls in love again so you know you can have your own little story for it yourself yeah. but um, that that was kind of one story mm. so and I've, I've read a lot of stuff about you guys being like five lead singers yes would you say <laughs> that's true yeah definitely like it just happened quite naturally we started recording the album um about two years ago and it was an amazing experience like we all learned so much about singing and stuff like that and we went into studios and the producers just went oh my god you all sound amazing you all sound amazing together let's get everyone singing and that's just kind of what happened so it was lovely for everyone to have the opportunity to show their show their pipes off <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there ever any arguing about who gets what lines no like way that? like we all know each other's voices so well now that we know what's naturally going to suit each person because we do have different tones yeah. and me and lee like, would fight over the bass harmony you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, right. never, I, I think we're all so laid back anyway yeah. sometimes we'd be sitting in the studio and we'd be like i know you go in and sing that will you yeah. <laughs> we're so chill yeah. but no, everyone kind of does, has their own little part to play. So. Yeah. And <clears throat> kind of trying to compare yourself to other girl groups, have you got anyone in mind that you like being compared with, anyone you don't like being compared with? Um, I think we really look up to the Dixie Chicks, um, they're an American kind of country band, and um, we look up to the cores. I know there's one boy, but I can be the guy, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we like the Bangles, uh, we like we Fleetwood kinda, Mac. Yeah, we kind of get compared more to like Westlife and Take That and all those <laughs> boy more boy bands. bands than girl bands, which is amazing. I don't know whether that's a compliment, it's the way we look. <laughs> we'll take it as a compliment. Yeah. yeah. The one girl band that we all really looked up to was All Saints. Yeah. 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 Just because they were a little bit, they weren't trying to be different, but they were a little bit left of centre. And our music's not necessarily mm. typical girl band music, so mm. it's not like we're trying to be different. But again, the music's kind of doing its own thing, so. Like whenever anyone sort of said like obviously with our music's not like All Saints but when they've kind of compared it like that that's always been very fun yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. Well I can obviously understand the the female Westlife comparison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Because obviously you have a connection now. Well, Westlife have sold 50 million albums, so if people want to compare us all day long and we sell 50 million albums, happy day. <laughs> yeah. I am not going to complain about that one little bit. <laughs> not and you obviously went on tour with them as well, so how, how did the Westlife fans take you? Um, well, actually, we've been on tour with Westlife twice last year and this year. We just can't get enough. So, um, <laughs> last year, obviously, the fans. Um, where the Westlife fans were getting to know us and this year they kind of knew a few of our songs, we're singing, were singing along, it was just great fun, like we just had a blast. So. Yeah. yeah, they're lovely. And what, what are Keen and Lily like as managers? They're amazing, like they're both amazing for different reasons, like Keen's very hands on, day to day, we see a lot of them and Louis's amazing because he's like a name and he's an amazing music man and like he gets us on such TV shows as like Alan Carr and stuff like that and we're still an upcoming new band, people still don't really know us yet so uh, it's very exciting and they're amazing managers to have, we're very lucky. 
The dream team. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I read you kind of got thrown in at the deep end as soon as you were kind of put together. You had to go yeah. on TV. Mm. Um, well, it was kind of, we weren't put on TV straight away. A few people have asked that because we had an ITV2 documentary, but that actually came afterwards. So we were put together and then um, Louis was actually filming the auditions. Louis and Kim were filming them just for their own kind of collection. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, not their own collection. <laughs> just no, just, just, on just, 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 just uh, <laughs> just to have it or whatever but then the ITV2 documentary came afterwards but um, it was about like a year later that that came along so it was they recorded it, it. Yeah. they recorded okay. it because they have to go home and look at the, the singer <gasps> oh, again yeah. and see if they can remember them or if they made an impact Not and also in case there was a documentary which is the yeah. opposite <laughs> that's what I meant yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah we were thrown in the deep end in that way but, but I think they also meant um, with Crow Park like basically they we had to perform um, in front of eight Five thousand people, and Louis was like, "Okay, this isn't your audience. This is Westlife's audience. But you're going to go on, and you're just going to give it your all and try and impress that eighty-five thousand people." So for us, that was like, "Whoa!" Like we were shaking before we went off and crying when we came off. Like it was, it was Insane. amazing, and the reaction was incredible. The Westlife audience have completely embraced us. We're very yeah. happy. How did you find the reality show? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was, it was brilliant. Like. First of all, in the first place, to even be offered a TV show for us was just mm -hmm. incredible. Um, but we always say the same thing, like as soon as the cameras went on us, like at the very beginning, we all just kind of froze and we had like no personalities. We were like wet blankets. We were like, don't know what to say, don't know what to do. But then after a while, we just said to the camera people, we were like, look, just turn on the cameras and film us even when we're not aware of it. And then that kind of caught our natural moments. And we just loved it. We kind of had a good relationship then with the camera crew and mm -hmm. all. So it was very easy. And it's lovely to it look was, back on the yeah, memories as well. It was more well. about yeah. um, like the working environment for us. It wasn't really like a rally, reality TV. And you come in, you see every single thing one yeah. do. It was more about the journey we took as a band more than anything else. And that's what made it so nice to actually get yeah. people to see what you do being in a band and being what in what goes like, into yeah, it like. that was kind of what we wanted it was good to. though because you could see us like from going from like the ve the very very start yeah. to like our music video and going on tour and and recording yeah. and just absolutely to our everything. first our first ever like own gig with a live band and yeah. just yeah. everything yeah. was yeah it was it's amazing. amazing do you think you were kind of because uh, I know you spent a long time kind of coming together a couple of years and I don't know whether normally bands get that when they kind of come yeah. together. Um, do you feel that you benefited from that? I think what was lovely about the fact that when we got together, um, you know, like it feels weird saying that we came from an audition because even though we did, we spent a lot of time working out who we were as a band on our own, just the five of us, and singing together and, you know, working out what kind of music we like and writing together. And we spent like a good two years just being able to become friends and forming a bond, just like any other band would if they were starting from school or from the garage or from whatever. So we kind of did that and that was lovely and I think now it's benefited our relationship so when mm. we're in different situations we're just so happy and comfortable with each other and we know you know our music and how we sing you know I feel really lucky that we had that time and that yeah. we weren't just like rushed together and then thrown out there yeah. and you know like pressure, told to like... survive it's kind of it feels more <coughs> organic and it feels more real that way you know and, yeah. and yeah. I think we were very lucky to have that amount of time but it wasn't necessarily for a reason Know, we weren't being groomed and people weren't you know like pampering us or telling us what to say actually Louie and Keen did the opposite they just went right go on you're I the band we were learning how to man. harmonize because we didn't know yeah. I didn't know what a harmony was we taught each other everything we taught each other harmonies we don't have a vocal coach that arranges yeah. our, our yeah. harmonies we do mm -hmm. it ourselves yeah. so I mean for that reason we really learn about who Wonderland is as a band mm -hmm. and yeah. I think yeah. the main thing is like if like to build up a friendship for us like with yeah. everyone and you know exactly where you are and we just like feed off each other so much so yeah. you know like a, a happy band yeah. makes a good band so. we all love music yeah. like we're all naturally we came in very musical everyone loves music like Lee plays instruments and stuff like that so like everyone is naturally music and when you put it in sometimes because like our parents weren't all in bands like we didn't have the opportunity to get to do it much so when it came it kind of happened very naturally like Karina said she didn't know what harmonies were but yeah she now can like pick them out of She's the blue. She's probably one of the best at harmonies. Like, like, she just, remembers them oh, like yeah. 
Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's it. Like, so everyone was naturally musical, so it was just getting an opportunity. You need time to grow. Like, you're not just gonna We're walk in and be amazing at it. Yeah. Yeah. So. so you feel really lucky, really. Yeah. And yeah. um, do you understand how girl groups can kind of fall out? Because I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't even know whether it's true all the time. Yeah. When, you know, when you read kind of bitching between bands, but I mean any group of women they can fall out. You definitely can understand how it can happen. Without a doubt. You need to like, the main thing we said to each other was from the very start, from the actual like first yeah. week that we got together was that we always have to be honest with each other yeah. and respectful and we definitely like have mm -hmm. kept that because if you don't have respect for each other like how no how point. are you gonna last there's are you no gonna do point. it on three hours sleep getting up getting into a van yeah. and like being on top of each other yeah it's learning together. about respecting the person that you're with because we yeah. all love each other now you know we know when somebody needs a little bit of space and that's completely natural or a cuddle you know I mean? sometimes yeah. people just want to cuddle yeah, and you yeah. know they could be in a like not a very nice mood and it's because they're feeling a bit sensitive and I think what where it breaks down and goes wrong with some girl bands is that they don't talk about it because confrontation's harder than actually, you know, ignoring each other. So they just so they, they, they go the you know, but it is yeah. worth the confrontation to go, look, babe, what's wrong? Did I say something to upset you? I'm really sorry, I love you, give a cuddle and then it's over with and yeah. literally Makes we sisters. have decided that that is how our thing from day dot and because of it we actually now have a really strong friendship. Like, we, we want to be friends forever. Like, yeah. it's actually friendship first and then it's Wonderland. You know, that's kind of the way we And we can actually it. say anything to each other without, like, you know, say if I was to say something to Karina, she wouldn't go, like, why did you say that oh to my me? God, like, like, oh my God. It's kind of like, yeah, well, babe. We you know, know each like, other as people. That's the way it was and yeah. whatever, yeah. like. So. Yeah. You get over it fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you about Kian being your boss. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Um, I feel very lucky that, um, number one, first of all, Kian is an amazing manager um, and he's incredibly good at what he does. I also feel very lucky that he believes in me enough to put me in a band that, you know, he was creating with Louis Walsh. Um, um, you know, it, I think it sounds harder than it is. I think at the end of the day, me and Kian both are very lucky to be able to be doing the things that we dream about. And we just embrace it and enjoy it. You never know how long it's going to last for. So you just kind of go with it and yeah. and realise how lucky you are. Yeah. Is it difficult with both of you kind of touring and going out and about? I mean, obviously it's easier if you're supporting them. But <laughs> <laughs> um, when me and Kian met, we both always had our own career paths. Like, well, you know, whatever I was doing, I was always doing my own thing and he was doing his. So we're, we're pretty much used to having a relationship that goes like that, you know, and we make it work and... Um, it's all we ever known, really, so it's not difficult at all anymore. Okay, great. Uh, what else was I going to ask you? Um, random question: the Olympics. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you guys based over here? We're in it. Yeah, yeah, we're um, <laughs> <you're> running. <laughs> I was sure goes in it, and I was actually like, <laughs> "What?" I was like, <laughs> "We're not saying I'm actually so jogging <laughs> yeah, in the long distance." We are actually based so over here, though. We've been living here for like a year, over a year now. Yeah. So. We so might have you got tickets? Have any of you applied no. for tickets? No, no, we haven't actually. We just want to sing at it if anyone will have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember we tried? Put come up like Leon Lewis what, out the ground. <laughs> what, um, we were in the studio a few months ago and we were right. We were in like a songwriting session and we were writing this song. And remember we had the idea. We were like, oh, this would be great I'm for the ready, Olympics. Ready, ready, ready. But oh, yeah, that was it never, it never got picked for the Olympics. But. That was. Or the album. Didn't even get picked for the album. There might have been. It was a good effort though. I don't think it was one of our best songs we ever wrote. Um, and I want to talk to you about stylists, because yes. obviously um, with girl bands you can get them where you know everybody has to wear yeah. the same colours, slightly different outfits, yeah. and like that. Yeah. How much say do you have in what you wear? Well, this is all this our is, own clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Today yes. we've styled ourselves, but we've been amazing like record company that like are constantly looking for stylists to like style us. So we're still not there yet, but we we are definitely going to move forward and putting our own input in like our style and stuff like that because yeah. we're, we're five young girls. We love fashion. We love clothes. So uh, I think Wonderland style will definitely take more of our It'll own evolve. taste. Yeah. We're still kind of learning because I think the most the hardest thing about being a new band and meeting new stylists is that 
you have to build a relationship yeah. so that they get you and get what you are. And I think, you know, uh, we're still, like Sharon said, we're still trying to find right our person. little niche of, you know... So we all feel comfortable. Because obviously yeah. we have to feel comfortable when we're performing on stage because the performance is the most important thing at the end of yeah. the day. Yeah. So. The music. Yeah. Yeah. so we're learning so we'll about fashion. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. It's to suit the songs, you know? Yeah. It's also doing it in the public eye. I mean, yeah. it is bad enough wearing a bad outfit but then having a bad outfit on television well, we, 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 uh, so it's we, magnified we've got like it ten wrong times a few more. times but you know sometimes yeah. I look at those magazines and they pick out somebody and go big X beside it it's personal wrong. taste like cause yeah, sometimes I'd look at it and go I actually think that's nice you and know? I remember actually seeing like they had an X beside something like Paloma Faith wore and I'm like but that's her she's character quite, yeah. without yeah, that she'd be just normal and boring and she wouldn't stand out and yeah. she, she's got such an incredible voice that she can't just wear what she wants because yeah. she's got it's it thing. like she's incredible yeah. 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 Gaga can wear what she wants as yeah. well so, yeah. I think you, know. you just gotta laugh at them things and you know there's always Girls, really bad photographs we need to show up just of inventing an egg <laughs> <laughs> in a big egg yeah, and then <laughs> saying nothing moves me <laughs> we'll just crack out of it <laughs> and then <laughs> then in black makeup yeah. anyway <laughs> Well, we do our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there a difference between your performing outfits and your normal outfits? Yes. Yeah. Big difference, isn't there, really? Individually, we all love certain things, but we still have to dress as a band. It's so important that we all just um, like dress as Wonderland, and that's it, really. Yeah. Just so, what's the difference, do you think, between... We're more covered up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I just think on, on stage you kind of have to like unite a little bit more. Yeah. Like say like, I mean, it's a typical example. We, we have worn black quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but I think that's just kind of, I don't know, maybe just the song that we have and it's classy and yeah. Yeah. it's sophisticated. We haven't really had the right, you know, kind of outfit yet where like it hasn't been black and it's looked great. I but think as well the thing about uniting us on stage as a performance is like you need the uniform, right kind maybe. of black is very safe so we've kind of stuck yeah. to that because at the moment like we said before we're still looking yeah. for our kind of thing and our input to be in that yeah. so you know uniting us on stage is kind of difficult so we have stuck to black but mm. in the future we might we will mix next it time up. we step out you yeah. won't even recognize us <laughs> <laughs> those two bands that you mentioned like the bangles and the chords mm. they used to wear a lot of black yeah and they looked amazing black. it's quite yeah. classy you yeah. see we do we do like the idea of it yeah you know, our music is a little bit different you know we're not the kind of girls that jump around the stage you know it's not that poppy it's still pop but it's a little bit more older than that so yeah. when we're singing the songs like heartfelt ballads like nothing moves me you have to be in something comfortable and elegant and classy because you want women in the audience to kind of go oh god that song's really getting to yeah, me enough. you don't want to go oh my god her skirt is showing too much <laughs> yeah. 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 so it is but about finding the right kind of balance yeah and, um you know, I mean, people probably think we're grannies, but whatever. <laughs> we <laughs> we're young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> we're young inside. Because <laughs> sometimes we do look at ourselves and we're like, girls, we look about 60 in that picture. <laughs> it's funny, though. Um, no, you look 60. <laughs> we look about 45. <laughs> um, can I ask you about all these kind of celeb connections you have? Obviously, we've already discussed Kim, but you know, you've been in the studio and there's been lots of people there. Yeah. And it seems to me that you've kind of talk to people and ask them um, advice, is that right? Yeah, well, Mark Owen from Take That actually wrote a few of the songs that are on our album, well, two songs that are on our album, along with two other writers, and he gave us some advice. We we worked with him in the studio, and he like he said that we reminded him of Take That back in the day, and, you know, he, he was so nice. He brought us chocolate, and he was just such a nice guy. We've got advice off him. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Westlife, the Westlife boys have been... Yeah them amazing just, yeah, yeah they've really supported us like right since day one and like built our confidence and helped us in that way and who else Perez have we met? Hilton, he Perez, really yeah. seemed, like tweeted about our songs loads of times we sang for him in LA oh tell me about that so you went to his house to yeah sing. it was incredible we <laughs> couldn't much. believe it when we got asked but we um we did we got asked by Perez Hilton <clears> and we went to his house and we were in his garden and we performed um two songs acoustically and it was amazing. He was just like cuddling us. He was like, "I'm oh, big fans. I think you guys are going to be massive." We were we like, actually, "What? You're we not going to sing the now? album, actually." Yeah, just yeah. to stand in the yeah. album because it's obviously not. Have we done that yet? Yeah. No. We'll no. do it today. We will. We, we, we have do. to. 
Um, we met oh. Rihanna, and she Rizzoli had a great chat with her, like over in Barbados, and was telling her about her music and stuff like that. So we'd be very lucky, like and Pixie, to, Lord yeah, and Pixie, lots of different people. So everybody, everyone's been lovely, and everyone, everybody loves us. Ev- <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, do you know what? Everyone actually has commented. We're like on the name mu- dropping. Everyone has commented on the music the though and said, okay. oh, "We love your music and." It's different. No, <laughs> not like in it, but it's different. Like. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of big headed. Okay, we'll pick up on two things. Uh, are they daughters of Rihanna? I knew you were going to pick up on that. Whenever I know, it, it sounds like, like so oh, amazing. Rihanna, Joey had a chat with Rihanna in Barbados. And, <laughs> no, it sounds like really amazing. It was, it, it, it just, basically, it was this one, these, one of these really rare things Occasions that happened. Occasions that you just got to. We were just at this party and, and. Who else was there? <sighs> Take that was Simon there. They Cal. were performing and only take yeah. that though. And <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing. And, uh, and and we ended up just kind of sitting with Rihanna, just a few of us. So it ended up being like six of us or something, and just having a chat. And she was a lovely, lovely girl. Yeah. And you know, she's every bit the superstar that you think she is. And she's just really down to earth and really lovely. She did, she loves Jody. She was very complimentary. Just a nice girl. What advice would you give? Uh, I'll remember when she said, you do this, Jode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she um, actually, yeah. She took. She spoke about before she goes on stage, like how she doesn't, to, get, to stop her nerves. She was just like, there's just something that you just have to put right here. And like, she kind of put her hand up to her face as if like it was like a mask or something, where it's just like she puts her performance face on and like nothing affects that. And she just walks out on stage and she is who she is. And... So I came back and I was going to the girls, right, right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Every time we're going, what are you yeah. doing? You're bluffing. You know, Judy like, just kept like, going, think this. I was, I was like, ready? Oh. When I got it straight away, I was like, yeah. Yeah. I never even knew yeah. that story. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't get it. I, was she like, I didn't listening. get it. But, um, Sam was like, give me water. But no, she was lovely. She was just a lovely girl and just really, really nice. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's everything I've got here. Hi, we're Wonderland and you're watching Entertainment Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are loud. One, two, three. Hi, we're Wonderland, and you're watching Entertainment Now. It's actually I better. We sound more lazy. Went, like, hi, hi, we're Wonderland, Wonderland, and you're watching Entertainment Now. I started going. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I was like, is she I was singing like, it or? Hi, we're Wonderland. Wonderland. The second Do time I went one? softer. No. Hi, we're Wonderland. And you're watching the Disney now.